Gold Leaf Brass Melt Jewelry Tutorial Making Resin Jewelry Hi, I'm Nikki Kaminga from Keepsaker Supplies and Tree of Opals and today I'm showing you some different ways to add gold leaf to a stone in a mould. I'm setting the teardrop stone in one of our brand new solid gold crown teardrop settings. They're solid 9 karat gold and hallmarked. I preserved the client's milk in a double boiler with breast milk preservation powder. I sell the powder and everything else I'm using in this video. I was in a hurry, so I got a warming mat and laid an old towel over it, then put the preserved milk on top for a few hours. This sped up the drying process. I ground the completely dried paste into a powder the other day and put it in a bag with the client's name and order number. I added a silica gel sachet to keep it completely dry. This is a great hack to get a super fine powder. The drier, the better. First method you can use is applying the gold leaf directly to the mold with a sparkle applicator. If you use this method, you have to apply a top coat to the stone after you've finished. Another method is to apply a little clear resin to the mold and cure before you add the gold leaf. I'm adding a lock of hair to these stones so I'll put a little bit in with the clear resin before curing for the first time on both of the stones. Use a cocktail stick to soak the hair in the resin and remove air bubbles. Then cut the hair to lengths a little longer than the mould so they can curve around. Using tweezers, carefully transfer the hair to the moulds and adjust with a cocktail stick. Once you're happy with the hair placement, you can check from the back if you're using water clear moulds then you can cure under the UV lamp. I get so many comments asking, where can I buy a kit like this? And all of the supplies I'm using in the video are available on my website, keepsakersupplies.com. There's the link in the description or a link tree in my bio. Whilst they're curing, you can prepare the breast milk resin. You could use cremation ashes here or ground umbilical cord with the same method. Use some clear resin. I'm using Padico Stardrop hard UV resin which we have in stock. Put it on a piece of label backing paper with some preserved breast milk powder and some pearlescent sparkle mix if you like. The resin in the moulds is now cured. On the second stone on the left here add a layer of gold leaf. Pop a tiny bit of clear resin in both sides, add a little diamond powder if you like and stir in a tiny bit of the breast milk resin. Swell it gently so the stones aren't opaque. Check the back and cure again. These first two methods use the gold leaf, either above or below hard resin. We sell genuine copper, silver, gold, rose gold, white gold, platinum and palladium leaf as well as the precious stones, which are all very popular with breast milk as booby awards or just for the extra bling they add. Yellow gold leaf represents the one year breastfeeding award, also known as golden boobies. Diamond is the April birthstone or the two year booby award. Another method you can use is adding the clear resin first, then swirling in both the milk resin and some flecks of gold leaf before the first time you cure. Use a cocktail stick to pick up pieces of leaf and gently place them in the wet resin. With either method, you can add more gold leaf in subsequent layers if you like, but I don't find it's usually needed. Just add the breast milk resin in layers, getting more and more opaque as the mould fills so the back is a solid colour. I really hope you're enjoying this video. It's so lovely to read the comments from people who find them helpful. Now I have a favour to ask. I'm a single parent with three children. The adults two have additional needs and the youngest is my two year old daughter Lexi who wants to breastfeed all the time. So finding time to make these videos is tricky. I've got over 2,000 subscribers now, but only 132 of you have clicked the bell to get notifications. I don't post very often, so if you don't want to miss my next video, click the bell below the video now, and YouTube will let you know next time I upload a new tutorial. After the final layer, add some top coat to the back of the stones, cure and cool. The first stone we made was the one chosen by the client in the proof photo. So I'm adding a layer of clear resin, or you could use top coat, back into the mould. This is known as the remoulding technique. Cover the stone in a little bit of the resin or top coat and push back into the mould. 
be careful there aren't any air bubbles trapped in there and cure again a few times when cool. Next, prep your setting by checking it's hallmarked if it's solid gold like this. Then give it a really good polish with a gold polishing cloth. Trim the edges of the stone with side cutting pliers or even scissors will work. Put it in the setting and use a curved burnisher to press down the crown points. You don't need glue. Add the chain and photograph before sending. Let me know in the comments which of these stones you prefer. Don't forget, I've linked to all the supplies I'm using in the video description or there's a link in my bio or you can just go to keepsakersupplies.com. Now relax and do some crafting.